It looks like a lot of people are getting blown up by Drive Impact. The move's really powerful. It's got armor. It's long reaching. So I get it. So instead of talking about all the things it's good for, let's go ahead and talk about how we can stop it. You don't want to block it in most cases. You actually want to react and do something to it instead. Now, Drive Impact on its own, it's a pretty disrespectful move. You might as well treat it the same as someone jumping at you. Right? It's a super hard call out. So whenever they do it, they're taking a lot of risk to do so. So they should be respected for it. I know a lot of people don't like it. Now I'm going to sweep and every time he wakes up, he's going to wake up with drive impact. Now we don't want to block it because you'll get wall crushed and then they'll do crazy air combos to you and you will get destroyed and I get it. So let's talk about the stuff that we're going to do instead of getting drive impact. First of all, you can drive impact back. Now I'm going to keep real with you. 26 frames is a long time in the world of fighting games. But in the scope of a person, 26 frames isn't all that much. And I get it, it's kind of fast to be honest with you. But the thing is that you can drive impact while playing your normal game. Because any move that's a cancelable normal, you can also just cancel into drive impact instead of just canceling into a special. So, here we go. And you can get your nice little combo afterwards and all that good stuff. Your first thought is probably great, but what if my move isn't cancelable? Because a lot of the best pokes in this game just aren't cancelable. So what is my advice to that? My advice is to hit the drive impact button anyway. Because in a lot of cases, there's still enough time for you to drive impact even if you hit them with a non-cancelable move. Now to display, you guys probably don't know about Manon, so this move is not cancelable. So, because I can't cancel this into anything, as you can see from my inputs, I'm trying my darndest to cancel it into anything, and I can't. Not even super. So, I have it set up to glow whenever a character has a cancelable state. Red, if you can cancel into anything, and blue, if you can only cancel into certain things. So, you see, all these moves are cancelable. Not that one. That one's cancelable to something. But you see, this move doesn't glow at all. So that means it's not a cancelable move. Now watch what happens when I try and... I won't be able to drive impact, but I'll still be able to drive impact after. Watch. And that's because... It still takes 26 frames to connect. So if you use a move that's not cancelable, but you recover in time, you can still do it. If you hit somebody with like a meaty or something, you can still do it. If you basically at any point in the time in the game, you should always be looking to either cancel into your drive impact. When you hear there, you should either cancel your drive impact or just bash it out anyway. You don't know if your character will be able to drive impact back anyway. Let's say for whatever reason you're on your last hit and you don't really, you're not really capable of drive impacting back because the damage itself will kill you. In that case, instead we parry. Parry works really well, and it keeps you from being pushed back so far, it stops you from being wall splatted, and drive impact as a move is negative three. So afterwards, it's your turn. And then you can go ahead and try and mount your comeback however you can. And that's not even to mention the fact that you can perfect parry it. If your time is valid, the perfect pair will let you get your own combo off. There will be times where you either don't have any drive gauge or don't want to use any drive gauge. So the next options cover kind of you don't have any. I'm sure everyone's fought the CPU and whenever you try and drive impact them, them boys are jumping. Turns out that sort of option works for us too. And then you can go ahead and get your own punish afterwards too. Another option we have is to just hit it with three hits. Now three hits can come from any source. So some characters will have it easier than others. But usually just doing your three jabs will work. Now mind you, some characters have faster jabs than others. 
So your mileage will vary off of getting three hits via jabs. But if you have a special to cancel into, then it can get a lot easier because some specials are multi-hit. You can also throw it. And as silly as it may seem, throwing's a pretty good option. And that extends to command grabs. Though, I don't recommend going for the command grab unless you're making the read, unless you're just fast like that. All the first ones work, period. But the second set does not work if it's... If you've been knocked down and you're about to wake up into the move. And that's where the super comes in. For most supers, you can just wake up with it or use it in reaction and you'll beat the drive impact. A couple supers like Jamie's level 2 and Giles level 2 where those are both installs, you cannot use those to break drive impact because they simply aren't hits. Now in the case of Jury, her install allows you to go into a little dash and that dash does break the armor. So as long as your super hits, it'll break the armor. Which means that you can wake up with your super because supers are invincible on wake up for the most part. So I know that there are a lot of ways to deal with drive impact and you might be wondering, well, which ones do I use? You'll get it. Over time, you'll just become accustomed to using the right one for the right situation. But if you just wanna know which one you should go for, always hit drive impact back because it's just a good skill to have even if you fail you can even see that my inputs when i block a drive impact still press it right and it's because you know whether you're early late on time it's just a good habit to have pressing the drive impact and when you are low you can always replace that with just holding parry because, in my opinion, the best way to learn something is by doing it, even if you do it poorly at first. Now, that's kind of everything. So, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If I missed any ways to deal with Drive Impact, which is possible, go ahead and let me know down in the comments what I might have missed. If this video helped you or was entertaining for you to watch, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Because we got more Street Fighter 6 content coming up. And... That's all. See you guys soon.